Good day, everyone. Professor Maple here. We're back playing Grow Home. And last time, we had just unlocked this lovely jungle skin, the green skin, the skin I've been hoping to unlock since pretty much the beginning of the game. <laughs> and it might be the last episode. That was, that was like the very end of, of episode 11 there that that happened, so... If we're lucky, we'll be able to use it a bit more often. If not, then I'll have to use it kind of on my own playtime. But I'm super glad to have unlocked the, the green skin at last. So we got to that energy rock there. Uh, either last episode or the episode before. And that, that essentially grew the, the star plant all the way up to 2,000 meters. And we are just about to cash in on that so to speak oh we also ended up getting all of the uh, data bank entries so we we no longer have to bring things back to the tele routers and and scan them so that's good that's always good but let's let's get growing here let's 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 finish the, the let's finish the game here Assuming the game ends where I think it ends. Which I think is possible, but not necessarily... We can't assume that's going to be the case. There's a saying that Hammy sometimes says about making assumptions. But I'm not sure it's quite appropriate for this has to do with the spelling of the word and what words hide inside of it and that's all I'm gonna say oh I hear I hear there's a teleport a telewriter on the ship or beacon thing in the bottom there okay so we've got mom telling us to retrieve star seeds I'm, I'm gonna wait I'm gonna wait till I see the inside of the ship first. I wanna see what our route is. I wanna see how we get there. How easy it will be or how not easy it will be. Oh gosh, oh gosh, there's a hole on either side of the ship. And there's something squealing at, squealing at us. Oh, we can finally... Maybe even tell a route our, our way back to the ship now. Can, can we do that? Awesome! We can we can go back and forth to and from the ship now. So that's wonderful. Oh, and look, we've got screenshots or memories. We've got meeps. We've got different bits of what almost looks like concept art for for Bud here. Oh, look at that! Look at that! Oh, look look at these things. Uh, we can't see you because of the zooming in and the stuff. Got some. That looks like fairly early concept art there. In the ship. And what do we have on this wall? We've got the whole like hanging and climbing mechanic. We've got. Yeah, that, that looks like an early version of Bud. Like a super early version. This is a really cool thing to put at the end of the game. I like this. What, the, were there supposed to be dinosaurs at the end? Or in the beginning? Was it supposed to be a dinosaur planet? This is so cool. I, I don't know about you guys. But I really, really like concept art and stuff like that when I'm when I'm playing a video game I like, and I find, I'm able to find some of that stuff. Like not that I actively look for it most of the time, but when I when I find it and I see it and I just see like what it was in its early beginnings, it's just like look at that in the bottom right corner there. That looks so cool. 
I could see that in a sequel. That would be, I, I think that would be amazing. Anyway, we've got, oh, we've got one more, one more little picture hidden on mom here. Come on, let me get close. Oh, it's just bud waving. So it looks like a hand drawn image. Anyway, let's go back down to our star plant. And retrieve one of these star seeds. I know what happens. They're very light sounding. They don't sound like they make much impact at all. And I'm surprised I was able to do that without just flying right through, which is good. Okay, our neighbors are doing something downstairs. Making clunky noises. So we just have Houston, we have a solution. That's the achievement we just unlocked for teleporting that. I guess we have to teleport them all. But then I hear sort of a beeping noise coming from in here somewhere. Do we just kind of like sit in the. Oh, the chair's glowing! I don't know, I feel like that's almost too easy. I feel like that's too easy. I, I, I want to just maybe... You know what, it's the last episode. Let's let's kind of just... Take a... Oh, you know what, we don't have any like falling stuff. But let's just take a quick view of what we've done so far. As we kind of fall to the bottom here. Actually, this is so beautiful. We've got the snowy islands, and we just passed the, the sort of asteroid belt. And this is curved around. We've got this island over here with the caves and the waterfalls. I'm getting very close to hitting things on my way down. And we have that over there with all the mushrooms on it. And we have this island here with the meep in the desert. And I just totally overshot that. Oh, that water might be too deep. Might be too deep. No, nope. likely not. Okay, good. And then of course we started 2,000 meters down from the ship. All the way down here at the beginning. We were red back then. We were the same color as these Telerouters. I'm glad we're not anymore. Alright, let's just take a look. Can we see all the way up? And we can see a, a fair ways up. We can at least see as far as the... Uh, the, the Toro Island. Anyway. Let's fix this camera. And grab some more of these star seeds. Or did we just have to grab one? Because that seems like a really easy... Like, not that the game is particularly hard, it's, but... Oh, that's a switch. Oh. Fireworks? Oh, they're not even real fireworks. They're like on screen fireworks. Well.
there. All right, well. This star seed is incredible. We need more. About eight more. Game's not over. Okay, eight star seats. Sends yeah, any active teller writer. Okay. I'm alright with playing more of this game. <laughs> I'm quite alright with that. So we have. There, there are a bunch more just on the plant here, are there not? No, they've disappeared. They've gone elsewhere. Alright. Well, there's definitely one down by number two. Actually, you know what? Let's just take a look around here. See if there happen to be any... I doubt there are any energy crystals on the outside of the ship, but... You never know. You never know, you know? No, you never know. Okay, that's not gonna hurt us going in there. That's good. No, I think, I think we're just gonna have to free fall again. Oh! Oh! Is there one, like, near every Tellerator? Is that what's going on? I'm okay with this. The more time I get to use this, this green skin, the better. Alright, let's go down to the... the very bottom and see. If we get any more glowy green things beckoning us to take them elsewhere. Or at least I'm pretty sure they're they're all glowing. The one the last one was glowing, so I don't I don't see why they wouldn't glow. Uh, fall flower. Seven more. And one of them's on that rock there. I, th I would have thought there was like one near every Tellerider, but. Oh. But that first Tellerider didn't have any, any near it, so I'm not entirely sure anymore. Two of eight, six more to go. I'm just gonna kind of like wander around. Well, and that's a bit of a curse of having the super powerful jet pack. Is now we're overshooting everything. Shooting all the things. Pretty sure this is the rock where the Tellerator is for the next section. Number three? Yep. Okay. Oh, and it's right on that Fractus. Okay, well, that's easy enough. We're gonna have to. Tear the Fractus apart a little bit. That's fine. It doesn't have feelings. I mean... Alright, so three of eight, five more to go. And is that one up there? See on. Hmm. 
Now why? This is a very good question. Why did I not Telerider my way up to the next Telerider? Actually, you know what? Yeah, this climbing's tedious and a little pointless. Let's tell the writer up to the, 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 the third, fourth one, fourth one. Here we are. Now where is number four? Oh, there's an energy crystal on the bottom of that rock still. You know what? We'll come back for number four. We're, we're gonna go for that energy crystal. Okay, okay, that's it ahead there, so we'll just go straight forward. I don't remember that branch being there. Must have been a one-time use kind of branch. Whoa! Whee! Okay, and... Try and fall as gracefully as we can down there. And now we climb downward. I got it. There. But we're definitely not really guaranteed to make it back up as easily as that. Floor again. I bet you there's one in the cave. Why would they not put the glowy things in the cave? Really? Is there not one in the cave? That's amazing. I totally expected there to be a glowy thing in the cave. Okay, these are actually getting hard to find now. So I think I vaguely hear another energy crystal. I can't tell if we're further or closer now. Hmm. I can hear the Telerator nearby. I swear, I swear I hear like the tingly energy rock sound, but I don't have a clue where it is. So we're just we're just gonna have to do without and keep looking for that star seed.
I didn't think we could hold on to this. That's silly. Awesome. But also somewhat silly. Now where... If I were a star seed, where would I be? Where would I be? I really don't know. Ooh. Oh, there's there's an energy crystal. I know I could hear one, but I didn't think that was the one I could hear. There we go. All right. So. Now that we have that, where? You know what? We're going to have to teleport to the next one. Which is here. But can we see the glow of the star seed from up here? Oh gosh. Uh, um, that's a long way down. But at least we have the fire or the, the fire flower. <laughs> you can tell I, I play enough Mario or have played Mario over the years. When? Um, yeah, I'm not seeing any glowy green seedy thingies. Not seeing any of them at all. Which is a little worrying. A little bit, a little bit. Let's see what we can see when we can see it using the button C. Oh, there it is down. You see the bottom right of the screen of the mountain here. Just have to fall down this way. Although. How I didn't see that before, I'm not entirely sure. I'll be quite honest. Oh, okay, it was way up here. Okay, I thought it, I thought we were down this far already, down at cave height. All right, all right. So we just plop it into the telewriter. rocket to recharge so we can climb back up. There we are. Alright. Now we... Thankfully this is a lot lighter than the mushroom was when we first tried to scan that. So this, this just kind of goes up in. Also we have a bit more powerful of a rocket. Which is also rather helpful. So that's... We're halfway there. We are halfway there. I think what I think that strategy of looking down at everything that's working out fairly well. So I think we're going to tell tell router up here and do that again. Now it is a little trickier during the daytime. That much is true. But you know what? We've got a fall flower. We can kind of take our time a little bit. Survey the area. Although we're not going to get a whole lot of the, the green glow that star seeds generally have. Also running out of fall flowers, so we can really only use that in emergencies at this point. And let's just see about over here. Because I feel like it would Yep, yep, it's definitely in a place where we normally wouldn't have to go. That's generally how game designers like making people explore different areas. Also, is there is there an energy crystal under that gradish? What? That gradish just like disappeared. 
Like that one fell. That's fine. That makes sense. And this one. Yeah, that just pops out of the ground. Did you see that one just kind of like fall through the ground? Like almost just like Oh, we already got one of those. Oh well. No, I'm trying. I want to see if there's an energy crystal underneath here. Nope, there is not. So we'll come back for that that star flower, uh, star seed, star seed. I keep referring to the star plant and the star flower, but it's the star seed we want in this case. <laughs> I, I'd really like to see a sequel to this game with like a jungle or even the like the dinosaurs from the, the concept art that would I'm not sure it doesn't really imply why they decided not to have dinosaurs in the game but I think it would be really cool if they were able to do that oh oh no the flower's gonna fall, or the seed's gonna fall. Unless the parts of me, parts of my body, can keep it there. Oops. Oh, no, that's the wrong one. And this one. Okay. And we're just gonna see if it stayed up here. Oh, good. It did. Thank you, body parts. So that's five of eight. That was five of eight. And up we go. Because I'm going to see about seeing if I can see things we want to see from the top of the mountain here. There we are. Use our little cheaty muck cheat button to cheat and think of where have we not been yet or where have we not had to be yet. I'm gonna say the back side of this mountain here I don't initially see anything of particular importance here. What's that up there? Oh, it's one of those. That might soon become helpful. Oh, and there's an energy crystal. So let's grab that. No, come on. Towards the energy crystal, bud. There you go. Okay, I don't hear any more energy crystal sounds, so we should be good for that. For a little while at least. Is there anything on the side of the... No, I think we're good. I think we are good for that. Hmm. I wasn't going to, but I think I want to double check the cave here just to be just to be certain come on we can get in there 
Okay, so we've got our glowy worm friends. I don't see any other glowy things here. And I hear Toro. And we don't really have to fiddle around with you, Toro, because you've already been down the hole. Yeah, I don't see... I don't see any green glowy star seeds, which is good, I guess. At least in that we don't have to search for one. Well, in the cave anyway. I'll get them out of the cave. kind of like to know where where this last star seed is especially since it's night time and night time doesn't last too long in this game it's not quite like minecraft where it's equal parts day and night so if we want to see it we want to look as quick as we can while it's dark wait what's that no that's just grass it's catching the light now. Hmm. Like, I don't imagine it to necessarily be, like, easy or the... Ooh, there's a crystal there. Or, like, the most evident thing ever. But I don't imagine it being, like, super, super hard. Especially considering how laid back this game is. Although, I could see it being up on that island there. Especially considering we didn't really have to get to this island as far as I remember. I hear an energy crystal. So even if we don't have... Star seeds. Oh yeah, we're at 90% now. 10 crystals left. Yeah, even if we don't have star seed from from that place at least we've got something I think we might even have to go up higher than the island here. So let's let's find the next Telerider if we can. Oh no, we're, we're we are way out. So let's just find a Telerider. The next Telerider we stumble upon here, which will be this one down at the bottom. Oof. We'll go one up higher than that. The big middle island there. And... I don't really notice a whole lot. Out here. I think this is going to turn into a scavenger hunt, so... Let's just see about... Scavenging while we hunt. Oh, there's 
There's a an energy crystal. Scavenging while we hunt. What am I even saying at this point? I just want to double check, make sure I haven't missed anything. We can't really see the other side of this island from here. But I feel like I can vaguely hear something nearby. Even if it's not an energy crystal. Or maybe I'm just going crazy. I'm just a mad scientist without a plan. I think that's it. What was that? What? Uh, so I think what we might do is just stake out here till nighttime and see if we can see any green glowy dealies from here because this is a pretty good view of everything down there and if not it might be in the other cave where the golden warble is but yeah we'll we'll keep an eye out I'll, I'll cut back when it's day all right guys it's getting dark so we'll see if we can see anything I really hope so because I didn't <laughs> I really was hoping not to wait too long for that. That's the telewriter down there. It's the telewriter up here. I don't see anything. Is there anything like above? Am I just am I just like derping hardcore? So that's a telewriter. That's a telewriter. I think we might have to go to the very top and just look down from there. So that's what we'll do. Instead of wasting our time here. Not that... That's not the... Point of the... Oh wait! There it is! There it is! <laughs> Found it by accident. Oh, and of course it would be in here. Yes. Yes. I'm gonna end up in a hole. I'm so sure of it. Okay, well now we found it. Heck, it might have been visible before and I've just like... Everyone's like, Professor Maple, it's right there! Who knows? Oh god, oh yes, this is, this is, this is gonna be tricky. This is going to be tricky. Oh gosh! All the momentum there, just like... Had it together, bit by bit. Okay, so we're gonna try and go up. Straight up, over. And straight down, and no! This is like a game of operation where you can't touch the sides or else the, the dude's nose lights up and you get the buzzer. But instead of that, you have the possibility of being flung off the island or drowned or something. Ow! <laughs> no! No! There we go! We've got it! We've got it! We've got to go! We've got to get out of here now. It's too dangerous. And I think I'm going to take it the long way around. Just to make sure it doesn't land in the water. Because I really would like not to lose this. 
I, I have been looking for this one for too long to just let it just slip through my little robot fingers right now. But I think I will end up double checking the, the golden warble cave just to make sure there isn't one there. We only have two left and we're kind of running out of places where they could be. And I know I wouldn't visit this place if I didn't have to otherwise. But since I'm nearby at this point, like why not check it, right? Yeah, there's nothing here. Just as I figured. Okay. So we have two more to find. Forgetting that these things rotate till I'm on them, and then it's just like, oh no. Oh, all the bother, all the bother. That was not what I was going to do. But now that, oh, oh, oh gosh. Um. I think we're just gonna have to stay on that telewriter rock if we can. Oh, oh, there's one there. Speaking of the Telerider Rock, uh, of course there would be a big old death trap here. This is a, that's a huge one. Okay, you know what? Now that I know it's near the Telerider, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna tr see if I die in here. Okay, apparently yes. Apparently that, even though that's a much larger Snapdragon, it's still end up dying. All right, well, now we know. I'm gonna grab this. Just because our fall flower is starting to run out a little bit here. Okay, and there's our warning right there. No! Oh no! This is gonna be harder than I thought. There will be piles and piles of bud parts in that little snap a dragon. Uh, okay, so I think the plan is going to be that we drop down from above and try and snag it. Oh! We didn't die. We didn't die. That's part number one. So it might have... Oh, it's kind of rolling to the edge here. That's good. There. Yeah, rolling to the edge is a very good sign. No, 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 don't. Oh, well. Fine. Fine, we'll just take it down here. <laughs> and I'm free, free falling. Mm. Da, da, da. I don't remember enough of that song to do any more that. Uh -huh. In you go. And in we go. Because we're going to need to go too. 
Oh no, it doesn't do two things at once. Okay. There. So one more. So one left. And I'm gonna assume it's up here somewhere. Cause that would just, that's the only thing that would make sense to me. Where up here, I don't know. Although... It almost looks like there's a glowy thing down on that one snowy island down there, so we'll go check that out. Like, I kind of doubt that's what it is. But there's no reason not to check out leads. Okay. Alright. And no, it's definitely not where I thought it was. I think it was just the sunlight on that branch, unfortunately. But you know what? It's the last episode. We're gonna we're gonna do a little bit of of growing here. We're gonna start growing a bunch of these just to see where they go. Just to see where they go. If I can get to a whole bunch of them in time. I don't think I'm gonna be able to have a bunch of them going simultaneously too easily here. One there. Uh, no, no. Oh, we totally missed that. Kind of, we're, oh gosh, we're totally just like losing our grip in so many ways. Try and hang glide over. No, we totally missed that. Are we gonna splat? No, we didn't splat. All right, I'm okay with this. I am absolutely fine with that. Okay, so we've got one there. We can do one here. And then... Oh, we don't have the... Bother. Um... Yeah, so that's a difficult achievement to get, that... Have... Three shoots going at once achievement. Let's go to the very top. See if we can see it from there. Eight star seeds. Can we see anything from the front window? Anything useful that we could see from the front window. But let's see if one of those star seeds is kind of like snuck its way onto the ship or something. Onto like the outside of the ship. I'm also very confused as to the ship making noise like this, but whatever. Okay, so yeah, I don't see, I don't see anything on the ship, unless it's like underneath. That scare, the idea of looking underneath the ship 
scares me a bit because it's a long way down. Holy. We almost totally died there. As opposed to like partially dying or something. Which I hear is possible in some places. I think I'm gonna cut away until I've found that last one. That's what I'm gonna do, because I just haven't a clue where it is. Okay, guys, I've been looking for a couple of hours and I still haven't found this darn thing. So what, wait, whoa, what, 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 really? It's down here the whole freaking time. Uh, okay, well. I've been looking everywhere and everywhere. But I guess now we have it. So that's Galactic Gardener. We got the achievement for getting all eight star seeds. Mission update. Star seeds received. Wow. It took a long time. All seeds have been successfully produced plants. What we have achieved is simply amazing, apparently. Five days holiday for a robot. Terms and, and conditions apply. Yeah, I bet. And we have an, a new skin. New skin. What? I don't, I don't really... Settings. Skins. Ninja. Uh, I'm not feeling it as, as much as Native Bud here. But yeah, I think we're gonna... We're gonna stop there. We've beaten Grow Home. So, I hope you enjoyed it. Have a good whatever time of day it is for you. Thanks for stopping by and hanging out and watching. And um, yeah, I hope to do another another playthrough series at some point. Eat your vegetables so that you will grow. And I will see you next time. Goodbye.